And that's when a person interprets things that are happening around them to be about them. Every time we tell ourselves, I should be something that I'm not, that's a judgment. Hi, this is Jim Brion. Welcome to our YouTube channel where we discuss all things mental health. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is something that's actually an important aspect of understanding the root causes for some of our difficult emotions and also how our emotions and our thoughts are connected. What I'm talking about is something that we call cognitive distortions. Cognitive means our thoughts and distortions it means what it sounds like, that we can have distorted thought patterns that really distort reality in the way that we perceive things and cause difficult emotions. One great uh, graphic to understand this is something called the cognitive behavioral triangle, which is a, a graphic description of how our thoughts can actually create our feelings and our thoughts and feelings drive our behaviors. There's a process that happens on a day-to-day -day basis where something happens and then we start to have thoughts about what just happened. And then based on the thoughts we're having about those we have feelings, we start to feel something about it, and then we start to do something. So you can see that our thoughts, feelings, behaviors are all interconnected. And if what we're telling ourselves about something is skewed, is distorted, then our feelings are going to be distorted and our behaviors will be impacted. Cognitive distortions often end up being automatic thoughts or automatic negative thoughts. And they can be so habitual that you may not even know that, that you're having them or that you have some power to change them. They can actually take a serious toll on our mental health, leading to increased stress, depression, and anxiety. And if left unchecked, these automatic thought patterns can become entrenched and negatively influence the rational, logical way that we make decisions. So I want to give you some examples of some common cognitive distortions and see if some of these are things that you find yourself doing. The first one is what we call black and white thinking. And this is a dichotomous thought pattern where people get very rigid in their thinking and everything has to be black and white one way or the other. It's you're with me or you're against me. Everything is bad or good. And people lose sight of the shades of gray in between. We can get stuck in a very rigid way of perceiving the world around us. The next one is something called personalization. And that's when a person interprets things that are happening around them to be about them. When they actually may have nothing to do with them. It's when we end up taking things personally. You might see two people talking and then you start assuming that they're talking about you or that when you walk into a room, everybody's going to be looking at you or judging you. This can lead into social anxiety and can actually lead into forms of paranoia. The next cognitive distortion is something called should statements. This is where a person is always telling themselves, I should be different than I am. I should be taller. I should be thinner. I should be smarter. I should be further along in my career. I should, I should, I should. We kind of joke and say that if you have this cognitive distortion, you can end up shooting all over yourself. But every time we tell ourselves, I should be something that I'm not, that's a judgment. So we end up really feeling bad about ourselves because we never seem to measure up. The next cognitive distortion we'll talk about is something called catastrophizing. This is when something negative happens, something bad happens, it could be a little thing, but a person's thought processes will go to the worst case scenario and we start really getting anxious that, oh my God, that means that now this is going to happen and if that happens then oh my god then that's going to happen and and if that happens and we end up catastrophizing and it can create terrible anxiety for people it's a very common cognitive distortion it's also something that's easily correctable once you recognize that that's what you're doing and there are ways that we can challenge all of these cognitive distortions another one is called magnifying and there's a close cousin to that called minimizing and this is basically when we tend to blow things out of proportion we exaggerate things and our real life version of the old saying of uh, making a mountain out of a molehill i think we can all do that from time to time but many people do this consistently and if this is one of your cognitive distortions you want to become aware of that so you can start to challenge it 
Minimizing is just the opposite, where we minimize things. Like you might say, well, yeah, I got a raise, but um, it wasn't very big and I'm still not very good at my job. So you can minimize usually the positive, similar to something called discounting the positive, where we you might get a, a job review and you get a, a nine out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 on seven different things but on one there's room for improvement and as you drive home from work the only thing you can think about is that one room for improvement another cognitive distortion is something called mind reading where a person can spend time energy worrying about what other people are thinking about them trying to read their minds so to speak and when we're always concerned about what somebody else is thinking about us we're preoccupied and we're not focused on ourselves another one is called labeling and that's when we take some negative thing that happens to us and we slap that negative thing onto us with a label maybe you you fail your driver's test and you feel oh my god i'm so stupid i can't believe that and then you start calling yourself stupid this is really kind of a way of labeling yourself with your worst possible traits and it can be really damaging to our self-esteem blaming is another cognitive distortion this is when a person blames other people for the problems in their life it's a, a, when it becomes a, a common and a chronic thing it can really start to affect your ability to take responsibility and accountability for your own life a lot of these cognitive distortions, like I say, they're under the radar, so to speak. They're beneath our conscious awareness. But when we start to become aware of them, that's when we can actually start to, to change them. And the way that we do that is through cognitive therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy. is a process that we think of as cognitive restructuring, where we learn how to challenge our cognitive distortions look for evidence that they're either right or wrong and then basically we reframe them we talk back to them and when you learn what your cognitive distortions are and how you can start to challenge them it can really make a difference in your quality of life you find that you feel better and when we're feeling better we're more engaged in our own life so if you recognize in yourself any of these cognitive distortions think about maybe contacting a qualified therapist who does CBT or who is knowledgeable about cognitive distortions. They can help you understand ways to challenge them so that you can turn some of your automatic negative thoughts around and affect the way that you feel and the way you show up in the world. I hope this is helpful and I encourage you to like and subscribe to our videos and sign up for notifications so you can find out when more material is coming out. And if you have any questions or comments, I welcome them in the comment section. We'll look forward to talking with you again soon.